Greetings, my beautiful lovelies. It's Emmy. How are you? It's great to see you and welcome back. Today, we are going to be making easy candy lays. Now, what is a candy lay? A candy lay is a lay or a beautiful necklace that was traditionally made from flowers. It's a Hawaiian tradition and it's absolutely gorgeous. But today, we're going to be making a candy version or a snack version that would be perfect for any graduation ceremony or any celebration for that matter. And today I'm going to show you a few different easy ways to make them. So let's go ahead and get started. So here's an example of a finished candy lay. Super cute, right? Festive, absolutely adorable and edible and snackable and Fun. This particular lay is made out of snack sized chocolates. So if your event is at a warm location, then you may want to consider using a different kind of candy, something that won't melt. The method I used to make this is the same method that I'm going to be using for my hot Cheeto lay. Totally silly and fun, right? So I have a roll of cellophane and I cut it. So you want it to be about three times around. So I cut two lengths and then I attach them together with some clear packaging tape. If you don't have cellophane, you could use plastic wrap as well. Space our bags of Cheetos in a little chain, leaving a little gap because that's where we're going to apply our ribbon. Now we're going to fold our plastic up and over, wrapping the snacks. Now a little bit of tape might be helpful just to hold the cellophane into place. We're just making a tube essentially. Now I've got a bowl of ribbon. This is just curly ribbon that I have pre-cut. And after making these, I found pre-curling them really helps. You could do it without curling them, but then I find if you just do it this way, then you don't have to curl them afterwards and you get a better twist. So just get some curly ribbon and tie off the end. So go underneath and just it so that the snack doesn't fall out. And we do the same thing in between each snack. Now these snacks are pretty light, so you don't have to cinch too tightly. Just do a little double knot, a square knot, just like that. I found the thin curly ribbon is easier for the cinching part, and then you can add the thick ones for decoration afterwards. Or you can add little bows out of satin ribbon like this. Cute, right? If you've got a school kind of theme going on, you can use school colors. I think that would be a great idea. Or you could just use any best of bright colors that you have. You could just have it be like this over the shoulders, or you can attach the two sides together just with the string like this. And then you have a lay of flaming hot Cheetos. Super fun and cute, right? Okay, so that was the Cheetos. If you wanna do candy bars, it's the same exact thing. You get a thinner strip of cellophane or plastic wrap, place your candy bars equidistantly separated, and then just use a piece of ribbon to tie each little space in between and hold them in place and then tie them together and you've got a candy lay. So for the next version of lay, you're gonna need a specific style of candy something like these Jolly Ranchers. You want a candy that has a wrapper on it and that is cinched on both ends like this because we need this end to attach it to the lay. And the candies that are bright and colorful are helpful. So Jolly Ranchers, Tootsie Rolled, Fruit Chews. This is super simple because all you need is some sort of curling ribbon. Arms width for me is about five feet, 10 feet. This is doubled up. So at this midpoint, I'm gonna cross and then put one inside, like, right? We're just making a loop, just like when you tie your shoes. We're just making a little loop here. And now we're gonna take your candy, we're gonna take that end and pull this so that the loop is tightened around that. See that? We just tied it on there like that. That's it. Take our strings, cross them, and then bring one through it so that we have loop again. Stick this in, just the end, and pull it so that it catches that little handle. Just like that. Now we have two. 
Now we continue doing this. You can organize the colors however you like. I like having a rainbow, so I just use one of each color and then repeat. But you could do all greens and all blues, whatever you want to do. See that? So for one really full necklace, it'll be about 150 to 200 candies. So about one of these bags. So a lot of candies, but it'll make a really nice dense necklace. This is the perfect thing to do if you're watching a show or if you're listening to a podcast, you can just have this sitting in your lap and you just keep looping these on. As you keep going, you'll end up with something that looks like this. Isn't this marvelous? Look. So this one is made out of Tootsie Roll fruit chews. But same method. Look at that. Isn't that marvelous? Look how tight all the candies are. So this is the side that I took the two ends and I was looping them around and the chain just gets longer and longer. And these are two packages of fruit chews. So this is about 120. Probably use another pack of candy if I want this to go all the way around. Now, if you want to make it a little bit more festive, just take curls of curling ribbon and you can kind of just weave it in between the candies and it adds a little bit more texture and festiveness. Ta -da! Now the last one I think is probably the simplest. You don't even need string. You just need a specific kind of candy, airheads. So I bought a box of 60 airheads and this will make one generous lay. These are what the airheads look like. They're a taffy and they're very flat and thin and fruity. You are going to need some clear tape. So take your airhead and bend it into a loop. You want this loop to be nice and big, as big as possible. So just grab the two wrapper parts like this. Tape it together so you have a loop. I liked putting the UPC up and that way when you put it through and around, you get the smiley face airhead wrapper on the outside. So basically we're making a paper chain, but out of candy. So now you take some more tape, tape it together. And now we have two loops. Take another one, UPC facing up, loop it around, and there you go. See how it's forming a chain? Just like you did when you were in kindergarten and you were making <laughs> paper chains, for the holidays, same exact idea. But instead of construction paper, we're using candy. Cute, right? Before long, you will end up with this. Isn't this great? Look at that, doesn't that look marvelous? So now you have a really long chain. All you have to do to connect them together, we have our two ends, and now to connect them, we take our last airhead through this one, and then through this one as well, then loop them together, tape it up, and now they're connected. Isn't that great? And now we have a huge chain of airheads. Isn't that great? I love it. It's so sparkly and flashy and a little bit heavy, but you don't need anything except a little bit of tape. My neck isn't long enough for all my snacks. Alrighty, my lovelies, there you have it. A few simple ways to make an edible lay for your favorite person. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoy that one. I hope you learned something. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media, like this video, subscribe, and I shall see you in the next one. Toodaloo, take care, bye. I took a scarf. <laughs>